Hi everybody, welcome to Shoot Better Sports video and here's a quick tip for when you're forced to shoot on the sidelines for a game because there's nowhere in the bleachers and there's no press box to shoot from. One of the basic elements of shooting is that the more zoomed in you are, the more likely you are to see shake. So if you keep your camera a little bit wider, it's going to minimize the chance of you shaking. But along those lines, I can also help you minimize shake by showing you the proper way to position your body when you're shooting on the sideline. And if you're out here with your hands and you're trying to go left and right, you can see how the camera's moving all over the place. So what I want to help you do is put your elbows against your chest like so. Brace the camera as if it were on a tripod. And when you pan, you're gonna pan with your hips, not with your hands. So if you watch what I'm doing here, as the ball goes left and right, my hips are what's turning, not my hands. That will give you a smooth pan. Along those lines, we can talk about your footwork. Most people point their feet directly at the play. I suggest turning your feet a little bit in the direction of where the offense is going. Because if you're standing straight ahead and it's a long gain, you're gonna twist your body all the way around. You're gonna to have to move your feet and that's gonna cause a shake. So if you start a little bit angled, if the ball does hit a big gainer, if they do go down the field, you're turning and even 20, 30 yards down the field, you're still straight on. You're never gonna get your body twisted. So use those guidelines to help you shoot steady. So all those points combined should help you be a better sideline shooter. Implement them, practice them, and hopefully you'll be able to handle sideline shooting really well.